Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today we're doing a special request program from the internet and from a friend of mine, uh, Coach Brewer, this is for you. Uh, we're talking about the osprey, uh, or the fish hawk as many people know them as. Truly a unique bird. And you can see him here over my shoulder. It's the bird that the most people confuse with bald eagles. And it is a and part of it is where they live. They, they are a much, very much a water bird um, hang around the bigger lakes and ponds and even the rivers and streams in our area. Uh, and of course, eagles are there as well. Their primary colors are a dark, dark brown and, uh, and white and eagles the same thing. And there's white on the head. And uh, so, so sometimes molting uh, young bald eagles before they get a fully white head will have a facial pattern that can be similar to an osprey. So thought we would talk about them today, teach you a little bit about them, and, uh, and uh, go out and get you to go out and look for them, because right now is the time that they occur here. Uh, it, they were nesting birds here in Missouri many years ago. They probably were never very plentiful here, and we were a prairie region, so there had never been a lot of nesting bald eagles in Missouri, but uh, their numbers uh, totally disappeared as a nester many years ago. Um, now, their, their decline worldwide, they are a worldwide species, but uh, their, their numbers decline dramatically uh, with uh, DDT and many of the other pesticides. And they are a bird that doesn't get as much publicity as their successful recovery from that as the bald eagle does, but uh, been a tremendous uh, recovery by this species as well as other birds of prey since the ban of DDT. Uh, uh, and so we are seeing nesting birds return to Missouri and there have been some uh, efforts uh, by the Missouri Department of Conservation to reintroduce them, uh, especially at Truman Lake, but still there are very few nests in Missouri. So, so the most common time to see them around Smithville and all our and, and even small ponds uh, here in Missouri, Wyandotte County Lake, we see them regularly out there, is in spring and in fall. And I know they've been hanging around uh, for the last couple of weeks. They'll be here for a couple of weeks more. So this is a great time to get out there and watch them. And they are a truly entertaining bird to watch. Now the name fishhawk is very aptly now, a name for them, a very apt name for them, because according to Cornell, I didn't even know it was this high, but according to Cornell, they get 99% of their diet is live fish. So they rarely eat dead fish, and they, uh, they are very rarely seen actually catching uh, a reptile or a small mammal or even a shorebird. Uh, it can happen, but it, boy, it is very rare. They are, they are just super efficient fishing birds, and they do catch them regularly. As a matter of fact, they, they get harassed quite a bit. We've seen them many times uh, on our bird watching expeditions. Catch a fish, start flying back to a perch to eat it, and here comes a bald eagle out of nowhere, starts harassing, gets him to drop the fish. The bald eagle goes down and grabs it and goes flies off with it. Um, uh, gulls will try to harass them. Other birds will try to get them to drop their food so they'll take advantage of it. But they are really incredible. They, their practice, their hunting technique is to cruise back and forth over uh, usually a shallow area. You'll see them out in the middle of the lake, and we see them in, you know, in coastal areas. But usually it's in shallow water, and, and boy, you know when they've caught sight of something because they start to hover. They just uh, Those wings, they start to just hover in place, uh, uh, trying to line up that fish, and then they dive down, and they will hit the water and either partially submerge in the water to catch fish or even totally go under it and then come back out and uh, hopefully they've got the fish. Sometimes they don't, but they take off and start flying to a perch. And if you watch them, uh, they usually come up with the fish side to side underneath them. But as they fly, they will adjust that fish and hold it so that it's in line with their body for aerodynamics to fly back up uh, to the uh, perch somewhere to eat. It's really cool to watch and it's fun. I mean, I, I can't, I never get tired of it. I get to see it. Um, their nest are built on uh, traditionally, you know, the tops of, of, of flat trees or even on ledges, but uh, nesting platforms have been another success, uh, reason for their success. Oh, let me get here. Go back to the album. Got a picture that a friend took, except it's not wanting us to go back there, is it? There it goes. Okay, this is a nesting platform. 
And these are artificial platforms that are placed for uh, ospreys, and this is part of the reintroduction program. But you see this large mass of sticks that they've laid on top of this uh, this flat uh, platform, and we see them on top of billboard signs. We see them on top of power poles. We see them on uh, all kind of structures. If you've ever been to Florida and you've driven across the Florida Keys, you will see these large nests on top of billboard signs and things all along the Florida Keys. It's, they're, they're numerous and, and coastal areas. Ospreys are more com common on the east and west coast than they are here in the middle of part of the country, but uh, that's you'll see their nest and they're huge and they're great. I mean, they use them year after year. They only have one nest a year and they usually have three or four young um, and of course they are fed fish. So uh, they are maligned by some people. Fishermen think, oh no, they're eating all my fish. Well, the truth is they usually eat slow moving, less desirable fish. They do not want to catch a lot of bass and favorable fish. They catch carp and, and uh, slow moving uh, uh, mud catfish and things that uh, that are very slow and in shallow water. So they really are not a competitor uh, when it comes to food. And they catch so few compared to, to like the fishing industry and stuff. So they're our friend. They, they are fantastic parts of our environment. They're very curious to, to, and, and, and easy to, to, to just sit and watch for, I mean, an hour. So you, you can go by watching one of these things hunt. So get out to one of our area lakes, go to the Wyandotte County, go to Smithville Lake. Or if you've got a small pond in your neighborhood or a large pond in your neighborhood, you probably see an osprey this time of year and just give them a watch. I mean, they're really entertaining. So thanks for your idea for that program. Send in more of them. If you like the videos, please give them a like, share them if you will. Until then, come by and let's talk birds.